Hello and welcome to this Newsmax Now update. I'm John Bachman. President Barack Obama speaking again today at the Africa Leadership Summit in Washington. The focus of this CONFAB has been economic opportunity, but security and health have also been hot topics. This, as several Western African countries continue to deal with the historic Ebola outbreak, President Obama addressing that issue today during his opening remarks. The United States and our international partners will continue to do whatever we can to help our African partners respond to this crisis and to stand with the people of Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. Well, the Ebola virus has killed more than 900 people in those countries the president just mentioned. Despite this, Mr. Obama talked about improving economies in all 53 African nations. He says Africa's rise, quote, means opportunity for us all. Meantime, the State Department is announcing that it's increasing security at key locations around the world today. Some of those locations are embassies, likely on the African continent. But the department officials are declining to name which embassies will see the heightened security. This announcement comes ahead of the release of that Senate report on the CIA interrogation techniques used after the 9-11 terror attacks. One of the men charged with conspiring to secretly photograph Mississippi Senator Thad Cochran's ailing wife pleaded guilty in court today. John Mary was charged with a felony count for, of conspiracy to commit a, quote, computer crime. He was sentenced to five years probation. Two other men still face charges in the case. A third man who was also charged committed suicide. This case unfolded during the run-up to the Mississippi Senate primary. Cochran has been declared the winner there, but Tea Party-backed candidate Chris McDaniel is still challenging those results. This has been your Newsmax Now update. I'm John Bachman. Now back to the Steve Malsberg Show in New York.